They have not stopped shedding tears since the day his life was taken. It's still very hard to deal with and it's hard to believe that it's been a year. Today, the family of 14 year old Devin Selvey sit by his shrine at the back of Sir Winston Churchill High School thinking of him as tomorrow marks one year since he was killed. His mother Sherry Ann says she tries not to think about what happened, but more of who he was. A rare, beautiful soul. He was so caring and he was always helping people out. Where they sit today is where it all happened on October 7th of last year. Sherry Ann was there when her son was under an attack. As Devin tried to get into his mother's vehicle, he was stabbed and killed. Two teens were charged with first degree murder, but charges against an 18 year old were withdrawn and pled guilty to a weapon charge and a 14 year old still faces first degree murder. Kevin Ellis, who runs a foundation for bullied children, is organizing a vigil tomorrow evening. He says he's had at least 500 responses to the memorial, but due to COVID-19 restrictions, he's urging everyone to stay home and watch through his Facebook page. Five after seven that they'll light a candle at home. Uh, hopefully they'll take a picture of it and, uh, you know, even use the hashtag Devin Mattered. Sherry Ann, along with Devin's girlfriend, Danielle, his sister, Carissa, and his nearly one-year-old niece, Maisie, hope tomorrow is also about preventing bullying, a problem Sherry Ann says her son was a victim of. That old saying, we're stronger in numbers. So if it's out there that a lot more eyes are on the situation, then maybe it doesn't happen to another child. The Hamilton Wentworth District School Board is slated to release an anti-bullying report with recommendations on prevention sometime in December. Jason Guidola, CHCH News.